you know, I had to tell myself this isn't who you are, you don't wear a ton of dresses. The thing that I was most excited about was that they have usable pockets. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a try on and review of a few pieces that I got from Zulily recently from the brands Prana and Aventura. Um, just a heads up, I filmed these on two separate days because the pieces came in the mail very far apart in time. So uh, when you see the background change, that's why. Um, but both of these brands are, um, you know, I haven't done like all the official research on them, but from what I gather, they're both kind of into like being natural, sustainable, um, ethically made and, you know, manufactured and sourced, um, you know, natural materials. Um, they both kind of have have like a um, outdoorsy sort of feel which is not my particular vibe but um, I do like a lot of the pieces from both brands. So the brand Prana, um, if you recall from last summer, I got a black dress from them, which um, I didn't really have too much of a chance to wear last year. I was thinking about shortening it or something, but actually I have been wearing it a lot this summer. It's perfect, you know, just a one piece thing when you want to throw something on that's kind of light and cool in the middle of the summer. So I've really been liking that dress and um, I was excited to see them come up again on Zulily. So I picked up just a couple pieces from this brand. So the first piece from Prana is actually these shorts. They are the smoky blue Ravenna shorts. Yeah, I just had to double check the receipt. It's a Ravenna. Um, and I tried these on and instantly love them. I'm so happy with them. The material's great. It has a little bit of stretch. It's like a quick drying material. It's not um, one of their natural fiber pieces. I think it is elastane and something else. But they're super comfortable, very lightweight. They have a five inch inseam, so it's like decent looking. <laughs> The thing that I was most excited about was that they have usable pockets. So you can put your hands in the front pockets. Also, back pockets are big enough to keep things in. Um, we've been going for a lot of walks lately around our neighborhood and I like to carry you know, my phone and my ID. And a lot of shorts, there's just not a good pocket where you can um, carry things like that. So I appreciate that these have actual carrying space. Also, there's like a little side pocket here with a zipper, so you can really put something in there that you really want to keep secure, like a phone or a wallet. A couple other neat features. Um, the snap is kind of interesting. I don't think I've seen a snap like this before, but it's, um, it's not really like a snap. It's like a rivet with a hole, and then the, the male part of it is just pops into this little hole. So that's sort of interesting. One other thing, and I'm not taking these off, um, but one other thing is it also has like this ribbon drawstring inside. So I think that might be like to, you know, if you want to tighten it up without wearing a belt, although it does have belt loops. Um, so that's a neat feature. I don't think that I would necessarily use it and also the ribbon is a little annoying to kind of like tuck inside if you're not using that but uh, it's it's neat that it gives you that option I guess. So this next piece unfortunately I will be returning and I was really excited for it and I'm kind of bummed that I'm not going to keep it but it's really just not working for me. So this is the Larkin jacket in the color chalkboard which is a nice gray. Um, the material is really thick and kind of stiff and it moves anytime I move my arms, I, which is weird because the shoulders seem almost puffy to me. Um, so you would think there's like a lot of shoulder space, but I don't know, for some reason, it's just not um, fitting me right, like in the shoulders or across the back. Um, it does zip shut and you know, it doesn't matter if it's zipped or unzipped, it's, it's really too tight across. Um, but it does have like a little um, panel across the back. The, the back of the jacket itself has elastic and actually it zips the whole way up the collar so if you wanted to you could zip it like all the way to the top which is kind of cool. Um, one other neat feature about this jacket is the sleeves. Um, right now they're kind of like three quarter sleeve length but they actually have these little snap tabs that make it really easy to roll them up to that length or you can unroll them to full length. 
So again, I'm kind of bummed because overall, I like this. The sleeves are a great length. The fits good. The zipper's nice. Um, but there's just something weird across the back where I cannot move my arms in this jacket, and I just know I wouldn't wear it or be comfortable in it. So unfortunately, this one's gonna have to go back. This last piece is the Larkin pants, also in the color chalkboard, and I love the material. They're super, super soft, kind of flowy feeling. They're made of tensile, which I think is a wood-based fiber that's somehow, um, it's natural, but it's like manufactured. It's used a lot in clothing, like from these brands, um, where it's a natural kind of material that's like sustainably made. Um, so I really, really like the material. The pockets are nice. Um, they're, they're very comfortable. They do have a drawstring around the waist, and then the back is elastic but I was a little disappointed just in the, in the fit and the cut. I don't know if maybe you can see better from the side. They're sort of like tapered and the top part is very big. There's like a lot of room like right here. Meanwhile, the bottom, um, which they're cropped length, if I move my leg like one time and, and they kind of ride up about half an inch, they're super, super tight around my calf. So I would know I would just be like constantly trying to pull them down and adjust them. And then this part I feel is like very unflattering. So unfortunately, I'm going to send these back as well. It's a shame. And actually, I love this material. I wish that jacket was made out of this kind of lighter material. I think that would have been so much more comfortable and easy to wear, but um, it is what it is. So these couple items are going to go back, unfortunately. I just wanted to point out that the jacket came in a plastic bag, but um, both pairs of pants came without any plastic, just in this little bundle with a little tie, which I really appreciate for their reduced packaging. Semi-related, in this same order, I got these Cloud9 sheepskin slippers, and since I'm sending things back, I'll show you these because I think they're also going to go back. They're very nice and super fuzzy and soft. The sheepskin is really nice, but this is my actual shoe size and I can cram my foot into it if I really work at it, but I just don't think it's worth it for, you know, fun comfy slippers that I want to be able to slip on and off my feet easily. So um, they're nice. If you want them, I would recommend ordering up a size. So if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you might remember that last summer I got from Zulily a top from the brand Aventura. And unfortunately it came kind of toward the end of summer so I didn't have a chance to wear it much. I have been wearing it this summer, it's great. And I just really like the brand, it's really nicely made. It had a nice little detail in the case of the top I got last year. It was like a little cutout on the back. And um, it's just, you know, fits nice, great fabric, great quality. So the brand came up again on Zulily Big Zulily event a few weeks ago and I picked up a few more pieces. So I'm going to be trying them on for you now. And I was just so pleasantly surprised by all of them. Every single one, with the exception of maybe one, which I'll show you, um, fits great and really was a winner. So I'm excited to show them to you. And I also wanted to preface this by saying that with all of these outfits, I will be wearing the black strappy leather iron sandal from the brand Muse and Cloud. I believe it's pronounced that way. I watched a video to see how someone else pronounced it. Um, these are very similar to a pair of sandals that I showed you last year, which were from Target, but these are made of real leather and the um, footbed has just the tiniest amount of padding, but it makes such a big difference compared to the other ones I have that are really just a flat piece of like cardboard basically that you're walking on. These are way more comfortable and they look beautiful. Beautiful. and as you will see they are easy to wear dressed up or down so this first outfit and I have my little sheets here so I can read you the names of everything correctly um, I'm wearing the quarry 
Arden V2 Slimmer Organic Cotton Straight Leg Pants, and I'll be wearing these with all the tops that you're about to see. So I believe Quarry is the name of the color. It's this light gray. And then this top is the Blueberry Pancake Geometric Lens Organic Cotton Tank. So as I mentioned, um, the material is really nice. It's not like a stretchy or a thin material that you might get at like, you know, one of the fast fashion kind of stores. It's a substantial fabric. Um, this one is this pretty, I guess they call it a blueberry pancake pattern. Um, and one of the things that I noticed when I actually got the items, which you couldn't even really tell online, is again, they have this nice little detail. In this case, it's like this little um, piece of fabric that kind of gathers the shoulder straps. So there's, that's on both sides. So again, it's just like a little detail, but it makes it a little something different than just a plain tank. Um, I like the cut of the neckline. I think it's very flattering. And as I take a step back, you'll see um, that it's a nice length and a nice uh, hemline as well. So here you can see it hangs nicely and fits nicely. Um, I also really like these pants. I was very nervous about purchasing pants online, sight unseen. Pants are a lot harder to fit than tops in my opinion, and these fit great. I'm always looking for like casual cropped pants. I never seem to be able to find ones that I like. Um, these, again, the material is soft, um, it fits nice, it has just the slightest amount of stretch. I think the crop hits at a good spot. Um, and then it just has like some little details that make it a little unique um, with the way that there's like this double seam kind of strip down the side. I think the, um, the hem of the pant leg is a little unique. The pockets and um, belt loops just have a little extra detail and there's so much nice detail even I'm not gonna like take them off right now but there's like an extra button inside to make sure that the front button area stays flat so overall again just really nicely made with lots of nice features so this next top is the grape kiss geometric contrast Thea organic cotton tank and um, I, a few years ago, got a top that had like this little lace detail on the back and it's just like otherwise a plain top. I really like it. I've been trying to kind of find similar pieces this whole time and um, it's it's been a little tricky, but this one I really like, um, just this little extra bit of detail. So you'll see when I back up, but uh, the material is, I would call it um, more of like a cotton uh, slub knit and I'm not sure how well you can see it in the light. I'm kind of trying to pull it out so you can see, but it does have just a little bit of a texture to it. It's not just like a plain uh, cotton shirt. And then it has kind of this crocheted area that goes all the way around the back and over the shoulders. And it's in like a contrasting color. So in this case, it's got, there is a little bit of purple in it, but it's also like more of this turquoise color. And if you know me, you might know that purple and turquoise are like the two colors that I wear in my wardrobe. So that worked out perfectly for me. So I really like the detail in this tank. So again, backing up so you can see it, I think it's a great length, it hits at a good spot, comes down just a little lower in the back, but not like a crazy tail. And I think it will be great for summer. Okay, finally, the last shirt from this brand is the Stingray Renee Organic Cotton Tulip Hem Top. Now this one I was really excited about because it looks like a classic standard t-shirt, nice v-neck, but it has, um, you'll see when I back up, a little bit of detail at the hem. It has this tulip hemline where it's kind of like two pieces that overlap each other. And originally I was trying to get it in this blue color. It was sold out in my size. I settled for the gray. I like the color, I like the material. It's that same kind of, I would call it again, like a slub knit, like there's a little bit of texture to it, but I'm just not a hundred percent fan of the way that it fits on me. So here it is. You can see again the the kind of unique hemline. So there's like a piece that comes down here, and then there's a second piece that's kind of looks like it's layered underneath. And I just feel like this one in particular is just a little too loose on me. I know uh, you know because I'm a little busty. I do have the effect of things kind of hanging on me like a 
tent and I am willing to accept that in some cases I feel like this one's just a little too loose I don't know leave me a comment and let me know what you think because I'm probably not going to return it it's just too big of a hassle so I'll probably end up keeping it but will I feel happy wearing it is the question so overall I mean I, I like the little detail it is a little more subtle maybe than I thought it would look um, but at least it's not you know just another you know plain old t-shirt before I move on to my last piece from Aventura, um, I did just want to share a little about this brand um, by sharing some of the information from their tags. Um, I don't really know a ton about the brand other than, you know, the piece that I bought last summer, um, but they do seem to be like a sustainable, um, organic based kind of brand. So um, each of the pieces that I got has a little bit different set of tags on it, but I just wanted to point out some of the um, claims that they have on here. So um, this one says, fair trade certified factory um, and that your purchase helps support better working conditions for the factory workers who made it um, this one and one of the other ones has a tag about tencel which is like here's the description um, designed for long-lasting natural comfort by eco soft technology tencel cellulosic fibers derived from european wood sources define a new standard of sustainability and exquisite softness for you so that's like a sustainable material um this one that's on i believe the pants says um, one of a kind this product has been specially dyed to achieve a unique look and the color may vary um, within the piece and then they all have tags um, saying that it's sustainable style um, clothing with conscious origins family owned and operated company uh, it's time to feel good about looking great over 75 percent of our styles use lower impact or sustainable materials so if that's something that's important to you if you're like eco conscious or um you know interested in fair trade kind of companies um you know this would be a great brand for you to look at as well so the final piece I have today from Aventura is the black polka dot Gia shift dress. And I actually had a few different dresses in my shopping cart and kind of whittled it down because, you know, I had to tell myself this isn't who you are. You don't wear a ton of dresses. And then, you know, the, the other side of me on my other shoulder would say, you know, oh, but maybe you don't have the right dresses. Maybe you'd wear them more if you had them. So I know in the summertime, especially I do like being able to just throw on a dress rather than trying to like match up shirts and tops and shorts and things so um especially in the summer i do wear dresses a little more but probably not like the number of dresses that i originally had in my shopping basket so i ended up editing down my selection to just this one the gia dress and it is a shift dress it has pockets which i was super excited about and so as a shift dress it is just a like a straight line down um, i will give you a spin because it does have a little bit of detail um, just at the top here there's a little bit of gathering right kind of at the collarbone and then it has this little bit of a um, placket front so this little piece just comes down to here so you know the area where you might have a button down except there's no buttons it's just sewn this way um but again you know considering my body type and the tendency for things to look like a tent on me um i think that for a summer kind of swingy flowy dress um this looks pretty good um, again the pockets huge selling feature for me um, it's really nicely made a nice material and now that I know how nice this style is I might go back for more in other patterns or colors if they're available but um, again you know kind of whittling my selections down I went with this one in like the black white and gray neutral palette because that's the color scheme of my life so I hope you enjoyed this review, found it interesting and useful. Um, please leave a comment and let me know what you thought or if you have any like favorite pieces from either of these brands, I'd love to hear it. I'm gonna keep my eye out for both of them for sure. Also, let me know what you think about my returns, <laughs> if you agree or disagree. And thanks again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.